Good morning and welcome to you, wheresoever you may be this Friday morning. In tiny communities, such as the villages in the lifetime of Christ, most people tend to know everything about everyone. Our story this morning from Matthew's 13th chapter demonstrates that this was indeed the case in Nazareth. Jesus came to his hometown and began to teach the people in their synagogue so that they were astounded and said, where did this man get this wisdom and these deeds of power? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all this? And they took offence at him. But Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honour except in their own country and in their own house. And he did not do many deeds of power there because of their unbelief. This is the word of the Lord. This story must, I think, be the origin of the saying that you can't be a prophet in your own parish. People know you too well. And the people of Nazareth knew Jesus very well, right from his boyhood. And they must have been used to him worshipping in the synagogue and occasionally reading the scriptures and commenting on them. But on this occasion, they would have listened with rapt attention because they had heard about the miracles he had performed in other towns. There must have been some small-minded people present because they just couldn't understand how the young man they knew as a working man, a carpenter, a mere layman, could have developed such miraculous abilities. And as Matthew records, they took offence. Perhaps we could also apply another old saying that familiarity breeds contempt, in this case, mistaken contempt. And because they could not, would not accept him, he didn't try to persuade them otherwise and performed no special deeds there because of their unbelief. And so the locals missed out on appreciating that their long-awaited Messiah had indeed arrived. They missed out on the good news that he preached wherever else he went. And what a tragedy for them. Perhaps we, in our daily lives, should ensure that we are always open-minded and good-hearted and that we listen to the message of Jesus to ensure that we do not miss out like the people of Nazareth. And so let us pray for help to express and share our acceptance of and faith in Jesus and all that he did and all that he taught us. And this prayer is from the book Defiant Joy by Stasi Eldridge. Dear Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. Come, reign in my heart. Fill me with your love and your life and help me to become a truly loving person, a person like you. Restore me, Jesus. Live in me. Love through me. And in your name I pray. Amen. Lord God, we pray to you for all those who, are suff who suffer directly or indirectly at this time. We pray for those who are sick in mind, body or spirit, and we pray for those who are dying. 
we thank you for all those who commit themselves so lovingly to the care of others. We pray that we may, we, we may play our part, however great or small, in alleviating the suffering of others and bringing joy to their lives. We ask this in the name of Christ, who died and rose again for us. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for all the wonder that is, that is still and always to be found in your world around us. We thank you for the joys of summer, for warmth and colour in our gardens and countryside, for your gift of harvest, for all the fruits of field and orchard, and for all the small miracles which unfold before us every day. Help us to be thankful for that which we have, and help us to share with those who have not. And we pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, as our Saviour taught us, we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now we close by asking for God's blessing. We pray that the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, will be with us, with those whom we love and those for whom we pray, this day and always. Amen. And so, farewell for today, and I do hope that you can enjoy some of the glories of this summer's day. Farewell. <laughs>